Hi, I'm Mark Cook from Salt Lake City, Utah. I happen to be speaking to thousands this week at Fort Lauderdale, Florida, so I'm filming from there. I want to tell you about a story that led to my insights at a very young age about leadership. When I was 15, unfortunately, my father passed away. My mother knew I needed to find work so I could get rid of this deep hopelessness I had. So I went to Dan's Foods and Mr. Brown, the professional manager, gave me a bagging job. But it was Dave, a teammate, that trained me to rush to check stands, bag the groceries carefully, and take every cart out with the customer. So my first Saturday arrives, it's prime time. Mrs. Sheen's buying her groceries, I bag them carefully, and we head out to the car. But as my cart hits the seam in the sidewalk going, going down the slope of the parking lot, the glass Pepsi bottles fly out and break all over like fireworks. <laughs> I was, I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. I grabbed a 20 out of my pocket. I raced into the store and handed it to Mr. Brown. He said, no, 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 no. Just go out and clean up. Dave, my coworker, pulls me aside and said, look, those dumb Pepsi bottles have broken on all of us. Don't worry. Just keep going. You're doing great. So the next Saturday arrives. Here comes Mrs. Sheen. I rushed to her check stand because I want to apologize again to her. And I bag her groceries carefully. She's in a little bit of a hurry. So I trot behind her as she starts to leave. But then she stops right at the door, bends down, and grabs a free newspaper. And I bury the bar of the shopping cart right in her Achilles tendon. And she goes down, boom, oh, and she screams. I almost cried with her. Couldn't believe it. Mr. Brown gives me this horrible look and a lot of finger waving. But Dave pulls me aside and says, look. I'm so sorry that happened. That's happened to a lot of us too. You're doing great. Trust me. Just keep going. So the next Saturday arrives. Mrs. Sheen comes with her groceries to check stand for, and I cower away until I hear over the overhead Mr. Brown say, Mark Cook, check stand four. Mark Cook, check stand four. And so I carefully bag her groceries and stay behind her a bit. But I was determined to pack her groceries perfectly in the back of her car and I did and in victory I pull down the hatchback and throw it only to see the corner of a berry in her scalp <laughs> ah, she screams oh I nearly cried with her I got a strong tongue lashing from Mr. Brown but Dave pulled me into the back of the room and he said look I want to tell you something personal I've been noticing how great you are with all the other parents you get to know them and their families. I swear you're gonna get promoted if you just stick with this. Sure enough, after a few months of hard work, I got promoted to the, to the esteemed camera bar. It just taught me a lesson of how important it is that leaders not delegate digging into the lives and finding out what's really going on with their employees. I'm so grateful today for doing that. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. And if you enjoyed it, please share this episode with a friend that needs a breakthrough. Post this on social media and add my website or tag my YouTube page. Or just text markspencercook.com to a friend or message that link on Instagram right now. Also, make sure to subscribe on my site at markspencercook.com to stay up to date on all the latest advice on how to unstick priorities to create breakthroughs. I'm so grateful that you listened today. And remember, you have people rooting for you. They love you and want you to make your breakthrough. That includes us too. Take the first step. Now, you know what time it is. It's time to go create a breakthrough for your work in life. And we'll see you there.